Hey Gordon Ramsay, what did grilled cheese ever do to you? So in case you've been living under a rock like I apparently have been, last year Gordon Ramsay released a video making a grilled cheese sandwich, or what he calls a grilled cheese sandwich, and when I say he messed up on every single step of the grilled cheese, I'm not exaggerating. Now I consider myself to be a bit of a grilled cheese connoisseur, so I went out and I got the same or similar ingredients to what Gordon used, and I'm gonna try to improve on his recipe. First things first, let's talk cheese. Now typically with a grilled cheese, you want a melting cheese, so it's completely beyond me why he chose hard cheeses like Asiago and Romano, which, let's be honest, are delicious, not meant for a grilled cheese though. But for the sake of continuity, I'm gonna see what I can do with those cheeses. So I have a nice Asiago that I got from my local cheese store. And the other cheese that Gordon used was a pepperberry Romano cheese. Now I couldn't find Romano, but I did find a pepperberry Pecorino cheese, which is nearly the same. But I'm also adding a third cheese because as I said, grilled cheese needs something that's gonna melt. And since these two are not known for melting, I also have some just classic mozzarella, which isn't super high in flavor, but has some amazing melting qualities. So I'm hoping that it'll meld well with the other cheeses. And now the next mistake regarding the cheese that in my opinion, Gordon made, was he cut thick slices of this hard, non-melting cheese. So basically just giving it no chance to melt. Now what I'm gonna do is grate the cheese, which to me makes the most sense if you want it to melt. It's gonna be a very cheesy sandwich. So the next fundamental element of a grilled cheese is the bread. Now Gordon used a nice artisan loaf of freshly made bread, which sounds delicious. However, where he messed up was cutting the slices too thick. I have a nice loaf of freshly made bread from my local bakery, and I'm gonna cut my slices a fair bit thinner than he did. Now the next fundamental element of a grilled cheese is the fat. Now of course, butter is the correct fat to use, and Gordon was on the right track buttering his bread. Where he stumbled though was adding olive oil as well to the pan. Now in my opinion, that's just gonna make it a greasy mess. You already have butter on your bread, you don't need extra oil. I'm not sure where that thinking came from, but I'm buttering my bread and that's it. No olive oil for me. All right, now this part was also very much up for debate on Gordon's video. He added some kimchi to his grilled cheese. People were furious. It seems like there's a lot of purists out there who think that grilled cheese doesn't need anything other than cheese. I'm kind of in that same camp, but I went out and I got some kimchi and I'm gonna try to add it to my grilled cheese also. So that brings me to the fourth and final element of a grilled cheese, which I personally think is the most crucial element, and that is the heat. For the perfect grilled cheese, you want your bread to be toasted and crispy while your cheese is perfectly melted. And to do that, you need to cook it low and slow. So for that reason, I'm not sure why Gordon Ramsay chose to cook his on an open fire, which notoriously is hard to control the heat and is also very hot. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Gordon. I'm impressed by your fireplace in your kitchen. It's just not where you cook grilled cheese. So I'm gonna do mine on the stove instead. My pan is heating up on medium low. I think it's about time to put it in. And now we play the waiting game. Because my heat is so low, it's gonna toast the bread slowly while still allowing the cheese to melt. And my grilled cheese is gonna be better than Gordon's. It's been maybe 10 minutes. I just checked and my bread is nicely golden brown on one side, so I'm gonna flip it. <laughs> yes. It's been about five more minutes. I can see that my cheese is melted, which means my grilled cheese is done. Let's take it off the heat. This looks incredible. I'm gonna cut into it. I do crosswise. I know it's up for debate. Oh. oh my God. Now that's some, that's some melted cheese. Cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Gordon Ramsay, you know I love you. This is all in good fun. I know that you're a world-renowned chef. Just give me a call next time you wanna make a grilled cheese, okay? Hey, Carmen here. I realized I didn't give a review of what the sandwich tasted like. It was good. The kimchi was a bit overpowering though, so I'm not sure what the point of adding it to those beautiful, flavorful cheeses was. I think if I made it again, I'd leave out the kimchi so I could really taste the cheese. Okay, bye.